I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Rolling Thunder on the Amstrad CPC. I'm surprised I actually haven't played this one before. Anyway, but it's an arcade conversion of a game of the same name. Basically, you're a an international police officer stroke spy, and your code name bizarrely is Albatross, and you're trying to rescue a lady called Lily. I'm assuming she's in Rolling Thunder too, actually. But anyway, and um, without further ado, we'll start. If you can notice down there, there's those hooded dudes there, sort of worshiping the the sort of mad scientist. It's a usual kind of fair. It's a run and gun shooter. And I quite like it. It's a game that it's pretty good in the arcade. It's originally a Namco game. Um, I am going to do abysmally at it because 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 I'm I'm not very oh very 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 good at these things. Um, you can jump up and down. Well, there's some weird mechanics as this one where you can jump up and down between the levels, which is kind of cool. I like it. Um, you get a limited supply of bullets, and you get them by going into doors like this. Look, more bullets. Oh, I'm getting more bullets. And then we get some bullets, and then we can go over the top of here to get past this part before we drop off this side. And I'm going to shoot across here. I quite like it, though. It plays and it, on, on, on the Amstrad. I tell you what, does it look good? It looks really good. Look at those graphics. Shoot him. Oh, I've died before I got the the bullets. That was the, the machine gun bullets there. I was working my way towards them. Oh, well. It happens. Sometimes they don't die after a couple of hits. It's pretty tough. Uh-oh, grenade. Yeah, I always found this was a bit tough, actually. Um, it, 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 it's, a, it's, it's not bad, actually, though. Graphically, it's pretty sound. So, so, so we're okay that way. I should have gone in a door. You can hide in the doors. They kind of walk off if, if you hide in the door. I think I got lucky early on, to be honest with you, because it let it let me kind of get away with not getting any people on the way. There we we'll get up in here. Nope, not lucky at all. Been really unlucky here. All of a sudden, it's gone from being okay to 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 to, to pretty tough. I go a little slower, maybe. Unfortunately, the, uh, the, as usual, the poor old Amstrad suffers a little bit with its scrolling. But it's not a bad game. Open fire, by the way, is the way that I'm opening those the the climbing of the, the the handrail, as such. Open fire at the same time, and then down a the fire allows you to leap off. Right. Okay. I'm kind of pleased you decided to jump off there because you were about to throw grenades, and it would have been. Re Miserably bad, and I just got shot in the back. I should have ducked. I didn't realise. Right, let's have another go because we're gonna have to get to those miss those bullets. Quite like this one actually. It's a good game. It's a proper arcadey feel, and and of course with the, the beautiful palette, the, the 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 Amstrad isn't too bad far away from the from from the original um, arcade. I'm trying to jump up over the ballast the the, the 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 balcony there to the top, but I couldn't seem to do it. It's a really weird manoeuvre though because it kind of floats up there. Look, it's sort of like float, float, float. I'm going to float over the bar bank barricade. I'm going to go in that room here. Watch this. We're going to hide. Oh, check, check, check. He's there. Oh, he's going to. You're going to throw bombs down now. That's fine. I'm going to. Going to kill you like that then. More bullets. Let's go back down. There's a specific. There's a real methodology to, to sort of jumping up and down these things. Pretty close to the arcade version, actually. Very nice to play. Very enjoyable. I'm going to get these bullets this time round, though. It's going to happen. Oh, nearly got shot. We have machine gun bullets, which means our firepower will be an awful lot more. In there, we go. Machine gun bullets, brilliant. Oh, I've died though. We just got the machine gun bullets and died. Oh, do I keep them? Yes, I do. That's handy. I'm going to go slowly, though, because it seems to, to, to be how it affects how it respawns. So we'll go slowly here. We'll keep that. We'll get some more bullets in here. Hopefully we'll get to the point where we've got more machine gun bullets. Never, Not even got past stage one thus far. Oh, that's not nice. If I hide, will he, will he go away? Will he, will he stop doing that? I've gone. All right. Mm. 
Got him. I've done it. Sorry, I've been a bit quiet there because I was just getting excited. Oh, more bullets. Let's get more bullets. Loads of bullets. It's a good job I don't need them. Is it the same people who created... No, because Namco didn't do Slice Spy, did they? Somebody else did Slice Spy. I'm thinking of Slice Spy, but... but I'm Look at that. Story mode, Area 1. I'm still in the same blooming place at the beginning of the level. Haven't made it past any of it. I haven't even made it past into the next area. I'm doing absolutely awful. But it's good. It's a good arcade conversion. It really is. It's well worth trying. It's well worth having a go on. I would definitely recommend trying it. Apparently the arcade version had several different story modes which were triggered by um, changing the dip switches within it, which is kind of interesting, isn't it? I mean, imagine that. Several different story modes for for, 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 a, for a game. That would be that would be pretty uncommon back in the day. I've just been shot. Last, last life. Last life. That's pretty good, actually. I quite like that. I'm surprised I haven't played this on a more more things actually. I'm sure I've got it on. I'm sure I've got it for the Spectrum as well. I really need to try that. But yeah, that's pr it's pretty good. I don't need them bullets down there. But I've just got punched again in the face. That's not bad at all. That's well worth trying. Definitely worth trying. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.